we have gathered together three amazing experts and they are here with us on Zoom and they can answer any question that you may have. So I'm gonna give you a minute to think of those questions <laughs> while we meet them, all right? So uh, let's see, expert number one. Let's hear, uh, what's your name? And let's hear a little bit about yourself. Uh, what's up, homies? Uh, my name is Flaca. They call me Flaca in the barrio. You know what I'm saying? My last name, Garcia. Don't ever refer to me like that. I will stomp you. I don't care. Um, A lot of people, you know, what they don't know is um, I'm actually a palatera. Uh, I love to give the little kids ice cream. I got raised all the funds for my truck from dog fighting. That's why they took my dogs away. But hey, I got my truck. <laughs> All right. Well, excellent, Flocka. It's so nice to have you with us. And so uh, you, your, your, your joy in life is, is distributing ice cream from your truck. Yes, sir. Well, great. Well, thanks for being here. Expert number two, please introduce yourself and let us know a little bit about yourself. Um, the way I'm going to introduce myself is a song that my, my dad did when I was born. So okay. wait for it. Okay. <laughs> Her name is Lola. She is a mermaid <laughs> with white pearls in her hair and a top of oyster shells. She will merengue and do the cha-cha and she will be a good princess and it starts over, over again. That's who I, I am. I'm Lola. <laughs> wow. So that was like an introductory song. So wait a minute. That was a lot to process, Lola. So your name is Lola. You are yes. a mermaid. You're a mermaid? Yes. And, and you also happen to be a princess? Yes, I am. And you can sing? Do y'all think I can sing? I think you can sing. <laughs> that sounds so familiar. Wow, Lola. Well, thank you so much for being here. We are we're honored that, that you've joined uh, us on Zoom. And uh, finally, expert number three, please introduce yourself and let's hear a little bit about you. Hi, everybody. My name is Chuck. And I'm a security guard. Um, I like to shoot guns. Um, I like to take long walks on the beach and uh, <laughs> listen in to music. And uh, yeah, that's me. Wow. Well, Chuck, thank you so much for being here. So you said you're a security guard. Uh, is there a particular place that you're a security guard? Yes. I work for WKRAP Radio. W, oh. W crap. Oh, okay. All right. Excellent. They have both call letters. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and 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 so you enjoy your work then? Yeah, I, I I love protecting people, and I also get coffee for the crew, and I do a little cleanup and clean the bathrooms. I do everything. It sounds like it sounds like you do all most of the things. Well, experts, thank you so much for being here. Now we are going to get questions from our audience. And uh, these questions are gonna be for all of our experts. Each expert will have a chance to answer these questions. So uh, well, let's find out what's on your mind. Go ahead and type in the chat some questions for our experts and then we'll go ahead and and get them and we'll hear the answers from all of them all right let's get those questions going keep those questions going let's see um uh well let's see um when is it going to start raining again okay how about that we'll start with flaka uh when is it going to start raining again all right, well, you see here, Holmes, all you gotta do is look at the sky. If you can see that it's blue, it ain't raining that day. But if you see dark clouds, it's gonna rain. So when you see those dark clouds, homie, you better get inside, get an umbrella, cause that's when it's gonna rain, you feel? <laughs> okay, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. It's just look up, right? All right, excellent. Now, Lourdes, uh, I, you, you may know a little bit more about the weather than we do. I, I don't know. Uh, when is it going to start? How do you know it's going to start raining? Well, the, the, the water starts to really get rough. And then I'm, I know there's a storm coming. Otherwise, I'm in water, so I really don't care. Ah, right. <laughs> so, so you're okay with rain? Yes. Excellent. Definitely. 
Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, that's simple enough. And so finally, Chuck, you probably have some inside info working at a radio station. When is it going to rain again? Uh, I don't know. You, you, know, <laughs> you, you get wet, it's raining. Okay. That, yeah. So, so, so we'll know when it happens. You, you know when, when you wet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Excellent. Uh, we have another question, it looks like. It's, what is the best gift for a 25th anniversary? What is, and so this time we'll start with uh, Lola. We'll start with uh, Lola, Princess Lola. What is the best gift for a 25th anniversary? We don't see too many diamonds where I'm at. So I, I think diamonds, lots of diamonds, and not small diamonds, many, many carrots. So, so a huge <laughs> diamond. Oh, yes, yeah. so a huge rock. A huge rock. Okay. And you don't come across many of those where you are at on, uh, under the water? No. Mostly pearls. Mm, no, no. Oh, pearls. Sure. So yeah, a diamond would be a, a, a real treat, I would think. Uh, Chuck, what is the best gift for a 25th anniversary? Well, uh, 25 years is a long time. So for something that big, I say a gift card. And, uh, and you give them a card <laughs> with, a, with a poem, roses are red, I love you. <laughs> oh wow! Well, that 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 poetry is just—you just made that poetry up, Chuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a gifted artist. I, uh, apparently <laughs> so. Yeah. You you said a gift card. What what would be your suggestion of a gift card uh, plate? Where would be the gift? Where would the gift card be from? Um, probably like for my wife, uh, Home Depot or uh, uh, Lowe's. Oh, okay. So, so you're mar you're married. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So, well, you said you said for your wife. Yeah, yeah. I was married twenty five years ago. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, I, I guess the, the good memories just keep on coming. Uh, and finally, Flaka, what would be the best gift for a twenty fifth anniversary? You know, I like the way Chuck is thinking. I was thinking 25 years, a long time. You probably got kids. You know, if you don't have kids, then you're tired of your spouse either way. Either way, you're tired. So <laughs> Starbucks gift card so you can get that co that coffee. You know, Holmes? All right. So you had caffeine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Well, yeah. I, I think all of those are wonderful choices for a 25th anniversary. Uh, let's see. And so we have one more question. Let's see. Uh, well, let's see. You know, this is something that I've always wanted, and we may actually have somebody who knows what the answer is. So the question is, what's at the bottom of the Marianas Trench? I don't know if you know what that is, but it's in the ocean, and it's really, really deep. And I want to know what's at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. We'll start with Chuck. Chuck, do you know? Yeah, what's on the bottom is the Mariana Trench. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes all the way down. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I I guess that I guess that's right because they wouldn't call it that if if it wasn't true. Mariana. <laughs> ah, okay. I wonder what Mariana is looking like these days. Uh, Flaka. What is at the bottom of the Marianas Trench? You know, you got some darkness in Poseidon's Trident. In the Pirates of the Caribbean, they try to save us at this some place where we find, gotta find the stars and stuff. But that's not true. He just throw that thing down there. So if you want his Trident, just go down there. You'll get it. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, if you if you're able to go all the way down, you will find Poseidon's Trident. Excellent. And uh, finally, Lola. You may be able to shed a little bit more uh, light on this subject. Gold. We, 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 mermaids and mermen have hid the gold. This way, those earth people, the people that live up there, they don't try to, you know, kill us for the gold. They don't know where it's at. So it's down, oh. down, down. So, so you, so you've just told us that you hide all your gold at the bottom of the trench. <laughs> yeah, but it's only a few years. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I guess we'll 
We'll keep it our secret, okay? All okay. right. Well, thank you so much, experts. Let's have a big round of applause for our panel of experts. Thank you so much. Wow. I, I think we're all a lot smarter having spoken with our experts.